Now to our coverage of the collapsed building in Ikoyi in Lagos State. Search and rescue is still going on and the, the government agencies are still on the scene. We're joining our correspondent, Chris Ellams, who is live in the area to give us an update on the situation. Chris. Um, thank you, uh, Lumide. Um, you know, it's already one week since the incident occurred. Um, it, it was actually on Monday last week. And of course, this whole area was a beehive of activities. People uh, milling around, hoping they could actually join in the rescue efforts. But today, it's a different ball game. If you look behind me, you'll find out that uh, uh, excavators are still working on the site. And it appears they want to get to ground zero as, uh, uh, as soon as possible. There are about uh, three of them working there at the moment. And of course, the debris are also being carted away uh, uh, using with trucks, you know. So they come in intermittently. They just come, pack, cut the debris away. Um, no uh, major recovery has occurred today. No rescue, no uh, recovery. Uh, but uh, the official figure still stands at uh, 44, 44 deaths and um, 15 rescues. Uh, we hope that by the end of the day, the Lagos state government would be briefing or giving us uh, further information on um, how far they've gone and how many more days they hope to spend here. Uh, in terms of changes around here, as at Saturday when I, got, when I was here, the place was completely cordoned off. Vehicles were not allowed. But right now, vehicles are allowed to use just one part of the road while uh, the other part is still, still cordoned off. You can see a few vehicles still plying the road at the moment. And another change is that um, the tent, there used to be tent here that um, actually housed medical personnel, the counselors, and other rescue agents. But today, those, the tents have been dismantled. No more tents there. But you still find LASEMA officials, you still find NEMA officials, um, the Lagos Rescue Unit, the police, FRSC, and then some uh, military personnel are also on ground well, we learned they are from the Nigerian Army um, Engineering Corps, but we haven't confirmed that yet. But they are on ground at the moment. So that is what is happening. And a few persons still milling around, but majorly uh, are press men, you know, just waiting to see if uh, there would be briefing uh, later in the day. Chris, if there is any glimmer of hope that survivors will still be found, is doubtless not helped by the time that has elapsed and we know that the human body can only survive for so long without water maybe for longer without food do you find any mm. of the relatives or the friends and the family members of those who are still mm. seeking their loved ones in the vicinity and uh, the information desk that the government set up to help with that uh, is that still set up uh Okay, okay, I said, as I say, said earlier on, the tent housing the information desk, the um, uh, medical personnel, the counselors and others, they've been dismantled. So right now, you can't really find any of these um, officials as you could as at last week. Uh, for, for relatives, we've not really found any of them around today because uh, some of them have been asked to go to uh, the IDH to see if they can actually uh, identify the bodies of their loved ones. Thank you, Chris. Our correspondent, Chris Adams, at the scene of the collapsed building in Ikoyi, the 21 Derard Road uh, building, that 21 story building that collapsed in Derard Road in Ikoyi, Lagos, giving us an update on the situation with the rescue operations there.